Ruben Amorim can spring Manchester United tactical surprise. Ruben Amorim will only truly be able to prepare for his first game in charge of Manchester United later this week when the club's raft of internationals begin to return to Carrington on Wednesday and Thursday. As Amorim said himself in his first club interview as United head coach, he has only two full training sessions before the trip to Ipswich on Sunday, but he did guarantee that fans will at least see an idea. That idea is likely to be the formation most familiar to Amorim. The 39-year-old old is indelibly linked to a 3-4-3 and it's unlikely he will deviate from that at United. Even if it means a change in approach for most of his players, they will have to master the intricacies of that system very quickly. Amorim will have a couple of likely starters available early in the week and one of those is Marcus Rashford, whose England exile shows no sign of ending. That is at least good news for his new club boss. After a bright start to the season, Rashford has only one goal in his last dozen games and his form is beginning to nosedive again. In a system that generally removes wingers, the 27-year-old has a fight on his hands to nail down a place under Amorim. But one key position under the former sporting coach is the striker. Victor Jokers has mastered that role in Lisbon, offering dynamic running that can provide many passing options while exploiting high lines. He has become a goal threat from all around the penalty box. United don't have a like-for-like like to slot in and play the same role as the Sweden international. Joshua Xerxy is someone who likes to drop deep but he could end up clogging that attacking midfield area if Amorim opts to play 2-0. No. 10 seconds. Physically, it is Rasmus Hodgland who is perhaps most similar to Jokers, but he has struggled for form this season. Instead, Amorim will be tempted to try Rashford through the middle. His pace offers a similar weapon to Jokers, and he is an excellent runner with the ball. Playing as number 9 without the presence of an inverted left winger could also give the academy graduate more space to operate. Speaking on the overlap last year, Rashford said he favored a left-wing role and felt it was harder to stay in the game as a striker, but in Amorim's system, he might find the greater responsibility and that position helps him out. Left wing, although I feel like center forward you have less distance to cover to score simple goals, he said. You might not touch the ball for 20 minutes and then your first touch might be an opportunity to score. You have to be mentally switched on and it's almost like being a goalkeeper. You might not be involved in the game for God knows how long, but when it's time to make a save, they have to make it. I never enjoyed that aspect of it, but I feel as I've got older, I'm starting to enjoy it a lot more when I do play up there. Instead, Rashford's presence at Carrington from the start of this week might allow him to be given a run through the middle and a chance to stake a claim for that position, at least in the early weeks of the Amorim era. In other news, Lissandro Martinez rejects Manut offer after Eric Ten Hag sacking and shows true self. Manchester United's Lissandro Martinez has reportedly cut short his international duty to start training under new boss Ruben Amorim. The Red Devils defender is said to have shown his dedication by declining an offer to stay with his family in South America until next week. Excitement is building at Carrington as Amorim and five new coaches are expected to begin work on the training pitch as early as Monday. Bruno Fernandes has already left Portugal duty early after contributing to a 5-1 victory against Poland on Friday. It's suggested that Martinez has done the same in a bid to impress new head coach Amorim, who will be deep into planning for his first game in charge. According to the Daily Mail, the 26-year-old had permission to stay with his family for the rest of the international break. The next such period isn't until March. He was selected to face Peru and Paraguay in 2026 World Cup qualifying before being ruled out due to an injury he sustained in last Sunday's 3-0 victory against Leicester City. However, Martinez has chosen to prioritize meeting Eric Ten Hag's successor over spending more time with his family ahead of a busy four-month fixture schedule. The report adds that Martinez traveled back to Manchester on Saturday, likely intending to report to United's training base two days later, when Amorim is set to start start overseeing sessions, reports the Express. His fitness is currently in question for the upcoming match against Ipswich Town next weekend. This could potentially leave Amorim with only two fit centre-backs at Portman Road. This could pose a problem, as he has been widely expected to implement his 3-4-3 system at United from the start. The statuses of Lenny Euro, Harry Maguire, and Victor Lindelof are also uncertain after the latter was forced to withdraw due to an issue during Sweden's game on Saturday. Martinez is reportedly scheduled to undergo tests as soon as he returns to Carrington. United will aim to determine the severity of his discomfort following a knock to his lower back.
The Red Devil's number 6 is anticipated to play a key role in Amorim's 3 at the back strategy, having formed a promising partnership with Matthij to lick this season. However, the Portuguese coach may need to postpone his preferred formation to accommodate his availability. Despite this, Martinez's traits suggest he won't easily rule himself out of action, and it would be surprising if he misses the Ipswich match. If you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates.